Welcome again to the Bible Talk Show. I'm your host, Minister Love, coming to you once again involving politics and religion that we're in a heated debate now in this political election and we want to give you a biblical perspective on what we're seeing and experiencing in this hot political uh, season that we're in. Now, on the last show, we gave you uh, a side of Hillary Clinton. We're talking about liar and liars. We're seeing democracy and theocracy. In the last uh, uh, show, we saw where God is not a man, that he should lie. Well, today, the scripture that we're going to be using as our biblical perspective is coming out of Psalms 116, verse 11. So let's get God's word on about liar and liars. Listen to what God says. He says in Psalms 116, verse 11, and uh, he says, I said in my haste, all men are liars. Did y'all hear that? All men are liars. So, so in this political hot debate that's going on, people saying Hillary is a liar. Now they're saying Donald is a liar. Well, it seems to me the Bible is telling the truth. I know y'all probably heard that saying that if we tell a, a little white lie, well, then I say if the lie is white, then truth must be black. You know, have you ever thought of that like that? So God's word will give us the truth. And here it is. This was written thousands and thousands of years. So we shouldn't be surprised if these men and women get up here and want to campaign and tell they lies. Don't be surprised. God already told you the truth. All men are liars. Even Minister Love standing up here has a possibility to lie. I ain't going to lie to you. I can lie. Amen? So because God already said that we're all liars. So it's in our best interest is, is that we got, to, we got to see beneath the surface of what these political campaign candidates are telling us. And so we need to really pay attention and really do some research and see, again, uh, are they really lying about what they're saying? Because, again, God says all men are liars. Now, remember the last time on the show, uh, last week, we talked about the government. I want you to see this, the government. There's threefold. Again, we got our president, who is his executive. Now, notice about this. Listen to what the executive does. He does this. This is what our president is supposed to do. He carries out the laws. Of the U.S. government. He carries them out. He don't make them. He carries them out. Well, who's making the law? Well, let's go to the middle part. The next group is the legislative. Get this. It is Congress who is the legislative. They make and changes laws of the U.S. government. Congress, y'all, that's your House of Representatives, and that is your Senate. This House of Representatives has 435 representatives. Senate has 100. So these, the Congress is the one that makes the law. And then the pe president carry out what they just made. Then we got the third leg, which is the judicial system. Now look what they do, these judges. This is their job. The judges, what they do is they judge the law to see if it agrees with the U.S. Constitution. Are y'all seeing this? And you got nine of them. So you got all these three that makes up our government, the U.S. government, that we're about to elect a president for. And so we can go around and say, you know, uh, Hillary this and Donald this. But really, when you look at the crux of it, it ain't them. It's your Congress. It is your legislative that makes the laws. And the president, he carries out what Congress wants them, what uh, Congress has already made the law to do. So Congress is the one really with the power. Let me just share something with you real quickly. I did some research. Did you know before President Washington became president that they had the Congress first? It was a Congress that was acting as a governing body for the U.S. government before it became a government. And so uh, after uh, Congress had initiated and they had been ruling the, the country, then they decided, oh, you know what? We need a, an executive. Then that's how we got the president today. But really, 
listeners, the power lies right here in the middle with your legislative. So really, we should be looking at who are we voting for the House? Who are we voting for the Senate? Because they're the ones that really have the power. Well, today we're talking about candidate Donald Trump for the Republican campaign. And we're again talking about liar liars. I don't know if, there's a, if you guys know this, I found out that there is a, a, a group that's called PolitiFact. And they take all the, the, the uh, presidential uh, candidates' uh, words that they're saying, things that they're saying about one another, and they have what they call a meter where they can determine if you're telling the truth, mostly false, or you just liar, liar, pants on fire, or you telling the truth. They have a gauge of what they are, are seeing with these candidates on what they're saying. So today we're going to take a look at a uh, candidate for the Republicans, Donald Trump. And let's see what they're saying about him, calling him a liar, liar. And let's take a look. So here, uh, you guys are familiar with uh, Bill Moyers. You know, he was on CBS for a long time. Look what, what they said about uh, Donald Trump. It has been said that he is a serial liar. They ain't just saying liar. They said a serial liar. And, and they said this, this, comp, this uh, political fact is a Pulitzer Prize winning site that examines candidates pronouncement for accuracy. It was found out that 76% of Donald Trump's statements are rated, get this y'all, either mostly false or pants on fire, which is to say off the charts false. They say Hillary is at 29% false. This is what they're calling uh, what Donald Trump said about Hillary. He said Hillary wants illegal immigrants collecting Social Security. They said mostly false. That's how they rated his comment. Then uh, uh, candidate Donald Trump said the Obama administration gave $400 million to Iran in ransom payment cash. He gave them cash. They rated this as mostly false. Then he said that a CNN anchor said that Hillary Clinton has gotten a free ride so far from the media. We're the biggest ones supporting her campaign. They rated that as mostly false. Last one, they, uh, Donald Trump said, he said Barack Obama founded ISIS. I would say the co-founder would be crooked Hillary Clinton. And they rated this comment from him as pants on fire. Wow. What did the Bible say, y'all, in Psalms 116? Go back to God's word. What did it say? I said in my haste, all men are liars. So we saw from the first show, Hillary is a liar. We're seeing on this show here today that people are showing that uh, Donald Trump is a liar. Remember I gave you... That, uh, last week on uh, President Roosevelt, uh, Franklin uh, Delano Roosevelt, how he was a liar all the way back in 1940. Well, let's get one for the Republican side. We all know uh, President uh, uh, Ronald Reagan. Y'all remember him? Well, let's see what he did. He was, he was a Republican's beloved president who resided over a shining city on a hill as his campaign commercials portrayed America. The truth was more shaded, to say the least. Welfare cuts pushed a half a million people, mostly children, into poverty. Tax cuts helped the rich, but not the rest of us. And unemployment during his first time hit a post-war high. His administration was filled with, uh-oh, here it is, little white lies. Remember what we said earlier, if the, if the lie is white, then truth must be black. It said that he claimed about the trees being a major air polluter and that uh, in the apartheid era in South Africa, eliminating segregation. He also uh, found out that, remember the eight senior members of his administration who were indicted? What were they indicted for? His biggest lie came to be known as the Iran-Contra affair. We all remember that. In Reagan's second term in 1985, Iran had taken additional hostages and offered to free these hostages 
in exchange for missiles. Hmm. A plan, get this, a plan was hatched in which Israel, uh-oh, Israel is involved, would ship missiles to Iran and the United States would resupply Israel with the missiles. And the United States would receive cash payment that had been paid for these missiles. That cash would then go to Nicaragua to fund the Contras. The rebels Reagan portrayed as the moral equivalent of our founding fathers who were fighting to take down the elected Sandinista government. When the details were leaked about this in 1986, Reagan was forced to explain why was America selling missiles to a sworn enemy while intervening in Nicaragua, which Congress had forbade. Reagan's response was to deny that the arms had been traded for hostages. Look what he said. This is what President Reagan said. We did not, uh-oh, I repeat, did not trade weapons or anything else to Iran for hostages, nor will we. That's what the president said. That's what he came out and told America. But get this, y'all. A few months later, he had to admit, I, he said a few months ago, I told the American people I did not trade arms for hostages. My heart and my best intentions still tell me that's true. Uh-oh, but look what he said. But the facts, that's it, y'all. That's what we need. The facts and evidence tell me it is not. So here we are again. Liar and liars. But the Bible is the only one that's going to tell the truth. God is not man that he should lie. So God has already told us in the scripture today, Psalms 116, 11. Y'all can read it for yourself. The Bible says, men are liars. So we should not be surprised when we hear the media uh, uh, talking about and, and, and uh, beating up these candidates. Donald is a liar. Hillary is a liar. Don't be surprised because they're all liars. So we got to wade through and see which one. I was talking to one of my uh, students today and she brought up a good point. It's what's in the heart. How is that candidate's heart? We need to look at their real intentions because once the election is over and they get in office, then we're going to go back and see, are they going to keep their word? So again, thank you for tuning in to the Bible Talk Show. Hey, we got scriptures to back this up. And we're not uh, uh, biased with anyone. We're showing you the Democrats and we're showing you the Republicans as well. But we got to look at the candidate's heart. What is their motives? Why do you really want to be president? Is it just for the power and prestige? Is it just to uh, have on your resume you was a president of the United States? No. What are you going to do for the people with the situations that we're in? Are you talking about unemployment? Are you talking about jobs? Are you talking about bringing that deficit down? What are we going to do about that? And so that's where the truth needs to come out. Tell the truth. We all need to turn this thing around and be truth tellers and not liars. Hey, you don't want to miss the next show. We got another great one coming up for you. Don't forget to tune in to the Bible Talk Show. I'm your host, Minister Love.